Peter Thiel is a tech tycoon, philanthropist, and was Gawker's reckoning. You know about PayPal, you know about Facebook, but do you know who Peter Thiel was before he was a billionaire? I'm Gerard Harron, and this is Before They Were Billionaires on Valuetainment. Peter Andreas Thiel was born in West Germany on October 11th, 1967. When Peter was one, his family migrated to Cleveland, where his father Klaus worked as a chemical engineer. Before settling in Foster City, California in 1977, the Thiels lived in South Africa and also modern day Namibia. Peter had to change elementary school seven times. One of Peter's elementary schools was incredibly strict. They required students to wear uniforms and utilize corporal punishment such as striking the student's hands with a ruler for mistakes. This experience instilled a distaste for uniformity and regimentation, later reflected in Thiel's support for individualism and libertarianism as an adult. Thiel enjoyed playing Dungeons and Dragons and was an avid reader of science fiction with Isaac Asimov and Robert A. Heinlein among his favorite authors and a fan of J.R.R. Tolkien's work, stating as an adult that he had read The Lord of the Rings over 10 times during his childhood. He has since founded six firms, Palantir Technologies, Valor Ventures, Mithril, Lembus LLC, Rivendell LLC, and Arta Capital, whose names originate directly from Tolkien's novels. In the late 80s, Peter Thiel studied philosophy at Stanford University, during which time he founded the Stanford Review, a newspaper that was critical of political correctness. After graduating Stanford Law in 1992, he published The Diversity Myth, co-written by David Sachs, about alleged political intolerance at the university. Thiel's first big innovative break was in 1998, when he, along with the help of several others, co-founded Confinity, which was designed to handle payments between Palm Pilots. The following year, Confinity merged with X.com, a startup online bank developed by this guy right here, who you know from the very first, before they were billionaires. PayPal was created with Thiel becoming its CEO and chairman designed to create a new world currency. The e-commerce company specialized in internet money transfers. PayPal proved hugely successful, aided by its use on the online marketplace eBay. In 2002, eBay actually acquired PayPal for one and a half billion dollars. The transaction made Thiel a DECA millionaire, and he subsequently invested in a number of startups, notably an online social networking service called Facebook. During this time, Peter Thiel established the hedge fund Clarium Capital Management. In 2004, Thiel co-founded Palantir Technologies, a data analytics firm. Critics questioned its subsequent involvement with the CIA and other government agencies, especially given Thiel's outspoken libertarianism. So many young people excited about the libertarian ideas that we've been fighting for for so many decades. Thiel argued that Palantir's technology allowed for focused data retrieval, preventing overreaching searches and more draconian measures. The company was also used by banks to detect fraud and handle other cybersecurity means. In 2005, Thiel established Founders Fund, a venture capital firm, and invested in such companies as Airbnb, Lyft, Stripe, and SpaceX. There's that guy again. In 2007, Thiel's personal life attracted the attention of far-left pop culture site Gawker when the blog claimed that he was a homosexual. Though Thiel subsequently announced that he was in fact gay, he admonished the company for the invasion of privacy. By the way, whatever happened to Gawker? When you live by the buck, brother, you'll die by the buck. Sidebar valuetainers, it is never a good idea to motivate a billionaire to destroy you. In May 2012, Facebook IPO'd with a market cap of 100 billion. Thiel sold 17 million shares of the company, grossing a cool 638 mil from the IPO and officially entering the billionaire club. Not a bad return on a 500K investment. For Valuetainment, I'm Gerard Harron, and this has been Before They Were Billionaires. Pet, Peter Andres Thiel. It's probably Peter Thiel. Peter, come get your sausages, Peter. Why are they speaking English in West Germany, Mike? Why? So many questions. I have so many questions.